hello everyone and welcome back to another video so in this one we are going to do some butterfly nails and i thought these went well with the butterfly practice hand so this is the first time that i'm using this half practice hand um so yeah you'll have to bear with me because i was being extra careful with it and just trying to figure out how to hold the fingers in the right way and everything that was comfortable and sort of where i had it on my desk and where the edge uh you know where my arms go and i know it sounds really complicated but and it's just a practice hand but it is really difficult when you're using something new um, when you've been used to doing everything a certain way for so long so i'm using madame glam gel polishes for this set and the first color that i'm using is lotus fever and this is a really gorgeous like baby pink so i'm using that for the nail beds of all these nails so and um, that's sort of the base colour. So I'm putting that on all of the nails. I only show me doing one coat, but I do actually put two on. And then I'm using the matte top coat. And I'm putting that on all of the nails. And then Madame Glam Gel Polish is Cure for 60 seconds. So I'm curing the colour coats for 60 seconds. And then the matte top coat I'm curing for 60 seconds as well. And that's just so that I've got a base to paint on because I'm going to be painting some gel polish onto these nails as well. It's not a complicated design, this one. It's really simple. Um, it took me a while to do it just because of the positioning of the hand and everything that I've not got used to yet. But uh, yeah, it's really like sort of beginner friendly, just using some stickers and a bit of gel polish. So, so I'm putting all the colours that I'm using on my palette. So I'm going to show you all those colours. And links to everything, as usual, will be in the description box. So if you want to check any of the colours and you want links to them, um, you can get them there. You can also see that I've got a 35% discount code for Madame Glam. So if you want to use that, you can use that um, at checkout. And that will get you 35% off um, unless there are any sales on, um, in which case the code won't work. So I'm just using the liner brush. This is the long liner brush. And I'm just using that to paint on the corner of that pointer nail. And I'm using the yellow one. So I'm just sort of figuring out where I want the line to be, putting the line on first and then sort of coloring the rest of it in. So I've kept this um, fairly slow so you can see what I'm doing, but then I do speed it up again in a minute. So then after I've cured that for 60 seconds, I'm going in with a different colour and I'm just sort of outlining that, um, that corner that I've coloured in. And then this is going to be how I'm doing the rest of the nails. Um, so basically what I'm doing is where the stripe is for the nail, that colour will then go on to do the corner of the next nail, if that makes sense. And then I'll use a fresh colour to outline that. And then that will be the colour for the corner of the next nail. So yeah, I'm just going to let you watch now. Um, but I will just say as well, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And then if you hit the notification bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video.
So I really love the colours in this set. I thought they were really nice um, pastels for using for spring. So like perfect for this time of year. So I did think it would have been better if I painted on um, the lines with the Madame Glam gel paints instead, because they are easier to paint with than the gel polishes. The gel polishes do tend to spread a little bit unless you cure them straight away after you've put them on. But I just really like these colours and I wanted to use them. After all that gel polish has been cured, I'm going to use some of these butterfly stickers. I will put the link to these in the description box because I can't actually remember where I got them from. Um, but I really love these and they went well with the set. Yeah, I'm putting, I'm not putting them on all of the nails. I'm putting them on three of the nails and then the ring finger, I'm going to be putting some um, gems on instead. So I really like these stickers because they're not um, really heavily coloured. You know, they're not really brightly coloured. They're quite muted um, and the line work in them is really detailed. And I just, I really like the way they look. So I was really tempted to leave this set matte um, because it does look good matte but I think the last few sets of nails I've done has, has been matte and I thought no I want these ones to be shiny. So I'm going in on all of the nails with the no white top coat and I'm really sort of scrubbing it in because I don't want to be, uh, these stickers, the, the they're not super embossed but they do come up from the surface a little bit so I didn't want to lose any of that by top coating them so I did sort of scrub it in and make sure it went between all of the, um, the bits of the butterflies. So I'm not curing that top coat yet, I'm leaving that wet for a minute because I'm going to put, just put the gems into the top coat because it was this was on a practice hand, um, it didn't really matter. If you're doing this on your own nails, I would suggest using proper rhinestone glue or something a bit stronger um, just to, you know, to keep them in place. So this is how they look when that top coat's been cured. What do you think? I absolutely love them. I love that middle butterfly, that's my favourite one. And I thought that the gems just went really well with it. I chose like an opal blue colour one that really went with that blue gel polish. And then the other ones were like a pink colour. So yeah, I love this practice hand as well. Um, I just need to get used to using it a bit more. And um, I'm really terrified of bending the fingers in case I break it. So I've just got to stop being so soft with it. But I am still going to be super careful with it because I want it to last a long, long time. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like these nails? Would you wear them? And do you think they are good for spring? Yeah, like I said earlier, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And then hit on the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when I upload a new video. Um, links to everything, including my 35% discount code will be in the description below. So yeah, that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.